How's it going guys, Will here, and this is the third time I've tried to record this video. I got a new SD card, I didn't format it properly in my computer, it needed reformatting. But this SD card will now finally allow me to shoot in the highest quality possible on the GH5, so... That's good, gonna definitely be using that. Today we're talking iPhone, specifically, am I upgrading from the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 11? But first, I need to be focused, and along with the SD card, I also got these new coffee beans, and... They're the best. They're the best I've ever had. They're called Aramistico. They're a light roast. If you like coffee, get these beans. They are amazing. Okay, let's make some coffee. Okay, back on my original Samsung SD card because the Lexar one failed three times. Three times. There must be something wrong with it. I don't know what it is, but an SD card should not fail that much. I'm gonna send it back as soon as I finish this video. Okay, so Amazon have been called, a refund has been arranged, and I have drunk my coffee. It was delicious, by the way. I highly recommend those beans. I'll actually leave them in the description. Okay. Let's get into the main section of this video. So, let's talk iPhone 11. First of all, I wanted to cover it when it was released, but the camera was in servicing, so... Missed out on a lot of views on that one. So when I talk iPhone 11 in this video, I do specifically mean the iPhone 11. We're not gonna be talking about the Pro in this video. That phone doesn't really appeal to me. I personally don't need three cameras because I, again, have this, as I've mentioned before. In fact, most of the time I'm okay with just the one. But here's why I won't be upgrading to the iPhone 11. Now, that's not to say that I'm not upgrading, no. Clue for the next video, see if you can guess in the comments. But on paper, the iPhone 11 looks incredible for the price. I'm reading the specs here. We have a weight of, who cares? It's 194 grams if you do, but that's literally the top spec. Weight, 194. Who cares? Dimensions is the second one. Okay, it's got a 6.1 inch screen, very nice. A screen resolution of 1792 by 828. The CPU is the A13 Bionic, very nice. The storage is as followed, we got 64 gigabytes, we have 128 gigabytes, and we have 256 gigabytes. And the battery lasts an hour longer than the 10R, so those are the basic specs. And as I said, on paper, these look really nice, but as I said, I'm not buying it. And the main reason for that is the screen. Now, I understand that this is an amazing screen. Now, I could understand this on the 10R. In fact, I highly praise the 10R, but it seems the 11 sort of become the 10R and the 11 Pro is the standard 11. And I mean, that's fine. You know what isn't fine? This jumper, I'm changing it right now. It looks terrible on camera. And that's probably ruined my hair again. I got it slightly nice. Put on the yellow long sleeve of doom. Here we go. The yellow long sleeve of doom. I iron my clothes. Okay, there we go. Much better. So as I was saying, the screen resolution on the iPhone 11 isn't all that impressive, but honestly, when it comes to phone specs, you really need to work out what you prioritize and then choose the phone based on that. Now, I personally really prioritize a great screen. In a phone, I like a well thought out design, a good screen, and an overall very good software experience. Now, I think the iPhone 11 offers two of those things. It's an iPhone, so obviously it's gonna have the super tactile it's our lovely buttons that we've all come to enjoy. And again, with the software, it's an iPhone, it's gonna be good. And the screen, as proved by that Jonathan Morrison video, is also probably gonna be pretty good. But after using the 10R in real life, I didn't particularly enjoy the bezels and I didn't particularly find the screen all that stunning. I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was all that stunning. And for me, when I have a phone as my daily driver, I wanna be impressed with this thing whenever I pull it out of my pocket. I want it to be like this. Ah! Okay, maybe not that. As it turns out, I just screamed at Lake Louise. Maybe this could be the thumbnail. Is this a good thumbnail? An area where the iPhone 11 does really well, however, is the camera. Now, it's got the night mode. It's got some crazy new features. It has that wide-angle camera. It has the... Slow fees? I... I'm never, ever saying that again. That's the one time you will ever hear me say slow fees. F***. 
I said it again. But as I mentioned earlier, I have a big camera to take photos. Hence why I originally bought the iPhone 7 instead of the 7 Plus. Also, I don't have very big hands. Look, I can barely go. In fact, I can't. I cannot go edge to edge on the iPhone 7. If I'd have bought the 7 Plus, that would have been just ridiculous. So I would rather personally go with another iPhone. Again, revealed in the next video, this is going to be like part one of two, but I am upgrading my personal phone. I honestly can't even begin to remember how long I've had this phone. And up until recently, I've had no reason to upgrade. If I'm being completely honest, the main reasons that I'm upgrading my personal phone, one is the telephoto lens. I do want to try that out. Two is the newest screen aspect ratio. And the third reason is honestly content. I love making iPhone videos. You guys seem to enjoy them. So while avoiding money talk, I do see buying a new phone as sort of an investment. This certainly was one of the best investments I think I've ever made. I, I want to say again, even though it's been like a month and a half since that video has been up. Thank you all again so much for how well the iPhone 7 video did. That went crazy. I honestly had no idea it was going to go that crazy. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the iPhone 11. I think it's a really cool phone, but I won't be buying it. Again, see if you can guess what phone it is. If you watch Dr. D's videos, you may already know. If you've seen my posts about the iSpare phone case, then again, you also already may know. Okay, it is getting kind of hot in there. I've got this big mono light. I've got that candle. I've got that light there. Let's continue this part outside because it is... Very, very hot. So, if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you may remember the time where I did a review on the Feutech AK2000. And I really liked it, but I haven't been using it. From attempting to use this on project after project after project, I've realized that my workflow really doesn't suit a gimbal. Now, this is because I like to get detailed shots, and for wide shots, these are absolutely excellent. I would really love to use this for like big wide shots, but the reality is most of my shots are product shots, so I'm more suited to a slider or a fluid head tripod. So for those of you asking, I do still like it, but just doesn't shoot my suit shoot my it just doesn't suit my shooting style. I tried to use it this morning to get some cinematic shots of the iPhone 7, but even still, I couldn't get any usable shots. Again, for wide shots, this thing is absolutely excellent. Honestly, I should have just listened to Colin. He said if you do tech videos, you probably shouldn't own a gimbal and he was right, and most of the time when I'm shooting videos like this where I may include wider shots, I'm shooting slow motion so I don't really need this gimbal. Hopefully in the future I'll have a project where I do need this gimbal, but for the time being, I just haven't been using it. Once again, I do still like it. I do think it's an excellent gimbal for the money. It just doesn't shoot, it just doesn't suit my shooting style. That's why I haven't been using it. It's nothing to do with the gimbal being bad. So. There it is. I am gonna miss this thing. It's still a really great phone in 2019. The build quality, the screen, the camera, everything about it is really good, but there are some things that I really wanna try with the new iPhones. Also, I think I'm finally ready for a glass back. Hopefully I don't break it. By the way, that's another thing that's changed since last time. My hair has got considerably longer. Getting kind of windy and dogs are barking, so let's go inside. Okay, so if it wasn't already obvious, that was recorded before the main talking head section, hence the disorganization, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Let's finish this video inside. So to end this video, I'm thinking kind of an ode to the iPhone 7. I'm thinking we take the GH5 because I just got it back, shoot some incredible footage of the iPhone 7, and then see how it looks after all the time that I've been using this thing. So there we go. Also, I got the SD card working. I'm actually shooting in HDR 10 bit right now. Turns out this card doesn't support MOV very well. It works better with MP4 LPCM. But yeah, it's working fine now. So I might shoot my videos like this in future. Imagine if I vlogged like this. Also, I got to pay attention to the histogram though, because we all know how I think I know better than the histogram. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you
I'll see you guys in the next one.